guys and welcome to Call Me Great Crystal, Christmas in July edition. Today we're making a bubble cord. It is so simple and beautiful. Perfect cord for Christmas. Let's make it. Hi guys, this is everything you need for this very super simple but so beautiful cord. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to fold this in half without a scoreboard today. <laughs> You're going to mark four and a quarter from the top and then mark four and a quarter from the bottom here. Then I'm going to take a ruler, line up those two marks and just take the edge of another ruler and do that. See? Score line on my paper, no scoring board necessary. And I fold and burnish. And our card is ready. All right. So this is the base card. Now we're going to start by putting on the layers one time. So to decorate your bauble, you're going to take your glitter circle, which is two and a half inches exactly, and I'm going to start to decorate it. So to start to decorate the circle, you're literally going to just drop big dots of glue. And then you're going to start putting big sequins. So start with the big sequins and then work yourself, work your way down to the little sequins. Alright, so I am all done um, decorating this piece and it came out so beautifully. Um, always at the end of it, always fill it up with little ones and it, I mean, look at that, that's so perfect. So let's get started putting everything together. Just a couple left. Um, I'm going to measure the middle of this piece of paper, which is four inches, and I want to put my marker two inches. There's a little bit of space above here that I have that I could work with. So if I were to put this inside here and hold it at two inches, then I could lift it and I can get my string inside there. And then what I will do is I will take a dab of glue put it in there and that's it I want my bobble to hang one inch down so I'm gonna measure one inch down and I'm gonna make a little mark just past one inch like right here so I know where I'm gonna put my bobble now I'm gonna take my bobble um, put some glue on my foam because if your bobble is a little risen off it looks so beautiful stick it down like this Right, I'm going to make a little line from here to here and stick this down like so. Then I'm going to just cut off the excess. I'm going to mark up my bobble and I'm going to make sure that I have maybe an inch on this side. And you see now it's a little more than an inch, so I know my bobble has to come around a little bit. So now it's seven eighths and seven eighths perfectly and now that i know that the sides of my bobble are both seven eighths of an inch i can go ahead and put some glue still going to line it up at the one inch marker drop it down then i'm going to make sure that it's yep seven eighths of an inch and seven eighths Perfect. And then I'm just going to press it down and make sure it's stuck properly. Foam below it's so important because you see it looks 3D, it, like you see a shadow. That is so important in, in like the design of your cards because it adds depth to it. So you kind of want to do that always. Just making sure it's centered. All right, now we're going to add our sentiment, which is a simple joy. Perfect. 
now of course you're gonna add a beautiful just getting it there's glitter everywhere <laughs> but you can't expect to work with glitter not have glitter everywhere right <laughs> so now I'm going to tie a bow and this bow has a right side and a wrong side or a shiny side and a side that's not shiny so i'm going to want the shiny side and the right side so i'm going to show you how to tie a bow to make sure the shiny side stays on the right side and you want to make it not like this go around twist and then stick it in and pull it out and this is literally the only way you're gonna get that bow to stay. See, I have both right sides showing now. All right, so you have to do that twist at the end. So I want my bow to be kind of small and cute because I don't want it to overpower the bobble. So this looks nice to me. I'm just gonna tie it up here. I'm gonna kind of fluff it so that it gets kind of puffy love how that looks so now i'm going to leave it there i'm going to take my fiskers precision scissors i'm going to cut one side much for joining me while we made this gorgeous Christmas bubble card. If you like this video, make sure and give it an actual thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you wouldn't miss any content. And stay crafty, my friends. Christmas in July.